Hey guys, welcome to My Airbags. I'm Eli, and today we are removing the restraint control module on this Ford Mustang. Now, when you're working with the airbag system on any car, the most important thing to remember is to always disconnect the battery before working on any part of the airbag system, the airbags, the seat belts, or the actual module itself. On this car, however, since the seats are powered electronically, we're gonna leave the power on for now. We're gonna get to the module and then we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. Now the first step is to go ahead and remove this panel here. There's one on the other side as well. You can use a little pry bar to go ahead and get underneath and pry it. You can also just get your fingers right behind it and give it a nice even pressure to remove it. You can see it's being held on by these little tabs here. Next, we have these little bolts here that are holding it down. They are seven millimeter. We want to go ahead and remove this little panel here. There's two clips holding it and you can pop them right up and then slide it this way. And now we want to do the same exact process that we did here on the driver's side as well. Here at the front of the center console, we have this little rubber mat that we go ahead and remove. And there you'll see two more bolts. They're also seven millimeters. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove this little panel here. If you're using a little pry bar, be careful because it scratches easily. I'm just gonna use my fingers to go ahead and apply even pressure on this front side and just pull it right up. You can press down on this panel while pulling on this part. Once you got it partially up, it's easier to use a pry bar or just go ahead and putting the pressure on the tip of your fingers to move it right upwards. Go ahead and engage the handbrake and make sure the vehicle is on level ground. Next, you want to go ahead and get this part off. There are screws on the front here and to get to them, we need a little clearance. So we're going to go ahead and move the stick back. In order to do that, there's a little white little plastic piece here that we need to push upwards and then go ahead and grab the stick and you can move it backwards. Again, make sure the brake is on, you're on level ground and you have some behind the tires. And this is the little white piece that locks the transmission stick in, in place. You can remove it from this side or you can move it from this side and then go ahead and move the stick down. Next, on towards the back of the center console, here we have this little rug here that we wanna go ahead and remove. And we can clearly see that there's two bolts here I'm using a 10 millimeter socket to go ahead and unscrew those. When a car gets into an accident, there's three main components that need to be addressed. The airbags, the airbag computer module, and the seatbelts. Any deployed airbags must be replaced with new airbags. You can buy a new airbag module. The problem is that they're pretty expensive brand new and used modules require a hiring a technician to go in and program the module to your car. In other words, you have to marry the new module to your car. Here at MeyerBags.com, we work closely with body shops, collision shops, and salvage rebuilders in all 50 states. Instead of buying a new airbag module, we can actually reset your original airbag module. In other words, we can clear it of all codes, and because it's original to your car, programming is not necessary. Number three, seat belts. Seat belts also deploy and they throw a trouble code. Instead of buying expensive replacements, you can actually send in your deployed seat belts along with your module. After your seat belts are refurbished, they will work again as designed. They will deploy in another accident event. If you wanna know more, just click on the link in the description below or just go to myairbags.com. Once we have the last two bolts out, we can go ahead and actually see the module already. It's on the back side of the center console. If we lift this up and hold it here, you can see the module is right over here between the seats. We're gonna go ahead and actually 
push the seats upwards and then disconnect the battery. There's another way to get to the module if you need more space to access and work on the module. There's another way you can go ahead and take up the whole center console part and you can have more room to work on the module itself. So we're going to go ahead and push the seats forward and that way we'll have more room from the back to access the module. Here from the back seat we can lift up the center console. Here's the module we can see clearly. It's a silver box. Now before we do any work with the airbag module, we want to make sure there's no power going into the car. The battery is disconnected. If we're working on the module while it's powered up, it can cause airbags and seat belts to deploy. The module has a sensor inside it. If it senses movement while it's powered up, and it will deploy the airbags. This module has three bolts, two in the back, one in the front, and it's also held down by this wiring harness here up front. Some of you may find the plug harness a little difficult to remove, so we're going to show you here on the table exactly how to remove it. Now the first thing you always want to do is first disconnect the battery, then you're going to go ahead and disconnect the power harness here, and then the three bolts. Here at the front, we have a clip here. You want to press down on this little black piece here. Press down and then remove the lever that holds it down. Same thing on this side. After removing the airbag module and seat belts, you can send it to MeyerBags.com for a reset. Go to MeyerBags.com, select your year, make, and model, then add the repair service to your cart. Print the label in your order, tape it to the box, and drop it off at any delivery location. If you need seat belts or any other SRS parts repaired, you can send them in the same package and order. You won't be charged until after My Airbags has reset your module and seat belts. Once we receive your module and seat belts, our turnaround time is 24 hours. We get them in and out.